Democrats' far-left headache just got a little worse. Not only did every member of AOC's squad easily cruise to victory, but the progressives actually added four more lawmakers to the roster. And with the squad's new power, AOC is showing no signs of backing away from controversial positions that have actually hurt Democrats at the ballot box, like anti-police rhetoric. Subway crime is up. But let's also note that subway crime is up after they committed so many more officers to the subway system. So that also tells us from a policy perspective, adding more cops to the subway isn't solving this problem. Mm -hmm. So there are other things that can solve this problem. But contrast that with what NYC's mayor just said. He thinks Democrats are the party of law and order. It's unfortunate that Democrats have a good crime story. They didn't tell it. If you look at the rep Republican states, you'll see the homicide rates are extremely high. Democrats allow the Republicans to pin the defund movement on them. Well, that's not the position of the majority of Democrats. And the real defunders were the Republicans. So, Greg, that has a lot of spin. It's sad because I root for the guy, but uh, it's not about blaming the cities versus blaming the states. It's about solving the problem. Both are related. It's the crime rates of the cities that are leading to these states having, for example, a, a Republican-run uh, state has two liberal cities with high crime rates. That's what you do. We can argue about that, but that doesn't do anything. That doesn't let you off the hook. Look, AOC says crime went up. When, once the police presence went up, that is either the product of a dishonest mind or a mentally disabled one, because the police are a response to the crime. The crime was there first. How can you lie about that? I mean, does she does she think that the police actually show up? They put up the yellow crime tape. And then they go, this is where you commit the crime, everybody. Get in here. Do you think that the chalk outlines are drawn before the bodies placed in there? You Freaking moron. This is this just shows you, by the way, we are so nice uh, with our nicknames. You know, Joe Biden basically denigrates Republicans left and right with stupid names. And we call them the squad. Mm -hmm. I mean, how fun Not is that? No. Oh, there's eight more in the squad. How fun. We should call them what they are, right? They're stupid radicals. They're stupid, punitive radicals who have absolutely no solutions other than punishing people. That we, They're like mini tyrants. They win in certain spaces because nobody votes there for anybody. There's no Republican presence. Exactly. Let's call them the tyrants. Let's call them the tyrants. Oh, there you go. Like it, so we solve problems here. The leftists. <laughs> they are leftists. They That's are nice. pro-criminal. Leftists is too nice. That's too nice. Okay. That, Let right? me tell you something. Just stick with that. <laughs> you know the way the. Who's next? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the, way, I you are. The, the way they're talking, I mean, why are we taking any information? I've said this before about law enforcement policy or, or, or what it takes to fight crime. Why are we giving them even a, 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 a pedestal or an agenda? Everything they're doing is destroying the rights of crime victims in this country and promoting criminals like letting them out of jail. And you know what, Mr. Mayor, you could say, did you say he's a nice guy? You like him? I, I don't like him because he came in as a police captain. I, did, I said I wanted to. You wanted to like him. Well, I don't want to like him because he's <laughs> proved that he can't be, even as a former cop, someone who knows how to fight crime because he won't fight the politics, the politics of, of the ideology of the left, which is you cannot have cash as bail. And as for her, she is so stupid, it is stunning. More cops cause more violence on the trains, on the subways. On the, and did it ever occur to her that there might even be more crime yeah. but for the fact that there were more police there? Right. And, you know, the way she thinks, it's like, it's like so screwed up. One has nothing to do with the other. It's like saying everyone who's a drug addict started with milk. <laughs> milk <laughs> has to be a connection. The gateway to, drug. Yeah, the gateway I drug. I think it is. You know, and the truth is that th th they are just, they don't know what they're talking about, and Americans are suffering because of that. And within hours of claiming crime is down, she gets elected, and there are now 10 squad members in Congress. And, Jesse, she said this in another interview, with, this with the New York Times. She said the over-reliance and insistence on leaning into Republican narratives on crime and safety hurt Democrats in the state of New York. So th along the lines of what Kathy Hochul said, which is, why are you so worried? Why are you hyperventilating? Crime's not a big deal. Well, they both talk about the narrative. She keeps talking about the narrative. And we have a good story to tell, says Adams. It's not about the story. We don't want to hear stories. Just fight crime. Yeah, it's like the debate. We don't care. We don't care. We're beyond state yeah. versus city. It's not about talking points yeah. anymore. You got to solve the problem. She also says this. 
You know, I don't know whether she thinks that the cops cause crime or they don't reduce crime. I can't figure that out. She then says, so there are other things that can solve the problem. And then she just stops talking. And, and they don't say, and what would that be? And then ask her what it was. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like, have any solutions. I would love to hear what they are, but she doesn't have any. And that's the first time she's actually talked about subway crime anyway. But how do you think Joe Biden is going to deal with, or maybe the Hakeem Jeffries, if he's the new yeah. minority leader of the House, how is he going to deal with an increased and emboldened, and very vocal squad tyrant? <laughs> tyrant. <laughs> I think Hakeem Jeffries, when, if, but more when he becomes speaker, is going to do very well with the squad. I mean, he has a good Does relationship he agree with, with them? them. No, he doesn't. And he's a moderate Democrat. I mean, he's, a lot of times there's confusion over the label progressive. Right? When you look at the Progressive Caucus, it has over 100 members, right? And there's some people in there who are as left-wing as an AOC or even Ro Khanna, who is not part of the squad, but certainly very left-wing, um, up into people who actually have quite moderate beliefs but are part of this caucus to make sure they're part of the climate change agenda, right, and to talk about um, some more left-leaning issues that matter to them. So we'll see how all of that is managed. But the point that talking about crime hurt Democrats is so utterly off-base. So Lee Zeldin obviously didn't win his race, but... He carried other Republicans across the finish line. And we haven't finished the tallies on all of this, but we're going to lose a few seats because of what happened the governor, from the governor's race down. And ignoring issues that people feel all the time, and that doesn't mean that you it will be the most important issue, but not acknowledging real fear is a dangerous way to be politicians. And if you look at what's going on in the L.A. mayor's race with Rick Caruso and Karen Bass, that is because of crime. And did, feeling like it is being ignored. Crime and homelessness, frankly. Did, did they get invited into the squad by the squad? No, or did we just say they just there is? It. <laughs> that, I didn't want to say that, but you've said oh, it Oh, we now. put them in the squad. See, that, yeah. we, that's what we do. The tyrants. The, the tyrants. tyrants. The, the little no, pro-criminals. But, but, but the squad, you know... Fun sides tyrants. Or either the squad picked or promoted them, or no, I mean, they're left wingers. There are people who were too far left for the establishment of the party, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be up there with AOC at every press conference and Rashida Tlaib and Alana Does she Mark. call herself squad? Or did we so. make that name up? You've done everything to her. I can't I think remember. She just called I don't know that's a serious we, question. In, in the commercial break, we'll have Johnny check out right. the origins of squad tyrant. <laughs> Got okay. it. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.